Hello, my name is Mattis Lind and I am a retro computing enthusiast. I'm going to talk a little bit about my latest project here. Uh, it's this Informer 213 terminal, uh, which is an IBM 3270 compatible terminal. Uh, in addition to having just 3270 compatibility, it also includes a, a 3174, 3274 control unit so that it is able to connect remotely directly to a mainframe. Or rather, it connects to the telecommunication controller, the, for example, an IBM 3705. And just last year, uh, two gentlemen in Holland made a 3705 emulator. Uh, so they are emulating the entire 3705 and then it connects to the Hercules emulator. What I have done here is to adapt this piece of code that these two gentlemen, Henke and Edwin, has uh, created so that it can connect to real device. And to be able to do that, I also created a small device here, which I call the sync dongle. It has essentially a couple of lever converters and a small microcontroller. Uh, this microcontroller is fitted with a firmware, an SDLC firmware, so that it takes the USB connect USB information in here, connects that to the host with the IBM 3705 emulator and then connects to the to the device that it wants the communication, that needs the communication, the SDLC communication, through this connector here. So this is connected to the back of this uh, informer and now everything is started up and I'm able to log in to the, uh, to the host here, to my helpless host. So I will do so by giving the username and password. There we are logged in. Welcome to, to the TSO system of TK4. And here we have the greeting screen. Uh, I can start uh, RFE, for example, to browse around a little bit along the files on the system. can view the file that configures all the, this uh, this particular terminal is in this data set here uh, called HS3705 so let's view that one so this defines the, the NCP node 3705 that is and also the lines that is connected to this 3705 that is emulated so here's the line it's an SDLC line and it has one physical unit is defined here and then a number of logical units so there you can see that's one two logical units and I actually use both of those logical units so I can shift to another session here and I can log in as another user. Like this. And now I'm logged in. So uh, all this uh, was made possible with a Hercules emulator, uh, well-known Hercules emulator, and then also in addition to that, the uh, IBM 3705 emulator that Henk and uh, Edwin has created. And as I said, I've done some modification to it, so it's able to communicate with real devices. Uh, I have put everything on GitHub. I will provide links in the uh, text after the movie. Uh, in addition to that, this SDLC dongle, the sync dongle uh, with the SDLC firmware is required to be able to connect to the Hercules host. And there are also links for, for information about that if you like to try it out yourself. Everything is in really kind of beta stage, so you may have some glitches, 
but if you get in contact with me I will try to help you as best as I can and I hope you enjoyed looking at this video and thank you for watching bye